Have you ever wondered if ancient civilizations had access to electricity? If so, you might be intrigued by the mystery of the 2000 year old Baghdad battery. This is a clay jar that some people believe was used as an ancient battery long before the modern invention of electricity. But how did it work? And what was it used for? Let's find out in this video. The story of the Baghdad battery begins in 1938 when a German archaeologist named Wilhelm Koenig found a clay jar in Kajut Rabu, a village just outside Baghdad, Iraq. The jar was about 13 cm high and 8 cm wide and was covered with a stopper made of asphalt. Inside the jar, Koenig found an iron rod surrounded by a copper cylinder. The jar was dated to around the time of the Parthian Empire which ruled over Iraq and Iran from 247 BCE to 224 CE. Koenig was amazed by his discovery and he had a bold idea. He suggested that the jar was actually an ancient battery used to produce electric current. He thought that the jar was filled with an acidic liquid such as vinegar or wine which acted as an electrolyte. The iron rod and the copper cylinder were then the electrodes creating a simple voltaic cell. Koenig speculated that the ancient people used these batteries for electroplating, a process of coating one metal with another using electricity. Koenig's theory was published in 1940 and it sparked a lot of interest and controversy among archaeologists and scientists. Some were skeptical of his claim while others were fascinated by the possibility of ancient electricity. Several experiments were conducted to test if the jar could indeed function as a battery. One of the first experiments was done by Willard Gray, an engineer from General Electric in 1940. He made a replica of the jar, filled it with grape juice as the electrolyte and connected it to a voltmeter. To his surprise, he measured a voltage of about 1.5 to 2 volts from the jar. He also managed to electroplate a silver coin with gold using the current from the jar. Other experiments followed with different results depending on the materials and methods used. Some researchers reported voltages ranging from 0.4 to 2 volts while others found no voltage at all. Some used different electrolytes such as lemon juice or vinegar while others used different electrodes such as bronze or lead. Some even claimed to have found traces of electroplated gold or silver on some of the original jars. So what was the real purpose of the jar? There are many theories and speculations but no definitive answer. One theory is that the jar was used for medical purposes. Some ancient texts mention that electric shocks were used to treat various ailments such as headaches or arthritis. The jar could have been used to deliver mild shocks to patients by attaching wires or needles to their skin. Another theory is that the jar was used for religious purposes. Some scholars suggest that the jar was part of a ritual or a magic trick performed by priests or magicians. They could have used the jar to create sparks or shocks to impress or scare their audience. A third theory is that the jar was used for storage purposes. Some experts argue that the jar was simply a container for scrolls or documents, similar to other clay jars found in nearby sites. They say that the iron rod and the copper cylinder were just supports for the scrolls and had nothing to do with electricity. The truth is that we may never know for sure what the jar was used for, or if it was even intended to be a battery at all. The original jar was looted from the Baghdad Museum during the US invasion of Iraq in 2003 and its current whereabouts are unknown. No other similar jars have been found in Iraq or elsewhere making it a unique and mysterious artifact. The Baghdad battery remains one of the most intriguing puzzles of ancient history. It challenges our assumptions about the technological achievements of ancient civilizations and invites us to wonder what else they might have known or discovered. What do you think about the Baghdad battery? Do you believe it was an ancient battery or something else? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.